Hello everyone and welcome back to TFS Insiders. I'm Irma and I'm here with Georgia and Jackie. For our third episode, we'll be focusing on the careers in the fashion industry. Stay tuned to hear everything Tyra Watson has to say about her styling career in New York City. Okay, so my name is Tyra Watson. Um, I'm an Iowa State alumni, alumni, however they say it. <laughs> um, graduated in apparel merchandising um, with the class of 2015. Uh, does not seem that long ago, <laughs> uh, but it, it's crazy. Um, yeah, so I have been in the retail industry um, since 2011, so going on, what, 11 years already? Wow. Uh, and yeah, I was pretty much, you know, I started from the bottom as a key holder, worked my way up into management, jumped into some marketing, production, um, dabbled in the corporate life a little bit. And then I finally, you know, got the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the push to move <laughs> out of the Midwest. And I made my big move. I started visiting New York in 2016 and started making like connections out here, um, worked some showroom gigs and then moved right before the pandemic. So oh, wow. yeah, <laughs> so actually, it sounds crazy, but it was pretty smooth. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, here we are. I um, picked up in styling really after I studied abroad at London College of Fashion. And um, that's when I had like the aha moment that um, I could actually make it into a career. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when I moved out here, it really just kicked off. And here we are. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. A quick yeah. question. So when you went to London College of Fashion, was Joe your professor for styling? Yes, he was one of them. Okay. I can't remember the other guy. I loved them both. I think, what's his name? Uh, Michael? No. Uh, I want to say, I don't know. I can't, I can see his yeah. face. <laughs> they were great teachers. Um, I had so much fun in that class, and I actually... I stayed in contact with the girl that I partnered with um, on a styling project. And she actually moved out to New York before I did. And then I like crashed on her couch uh, when I first started coming out here. So it like worked out perfectly. But yes, Joe was one of my teachers to answer that question. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I just had him for a class last semester when I went to LCF. Yeah. So no, we still did the styling project and everything. He was super awesome. Yes. Very feisty too. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> uh, well, so going off of that to talk more to our students that are looking for a career in styling, would you explain what to your like day-to-day -day operations look like? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> I know it can kind of be different from day-to-day, -day, but it really does change day to day, um, hour to hour, really. Um, <laughs> let's see. I have I'm trying to think of like a big project that I really had and like how it um, rolled out. Um, okay, so I just styled actually a product sh um, shoot with Timberland and Jadakiss. Um, so, how that and what that looked like. Um, I actually worked at a studio um, with another like random photo shoot and the production team, they followed me on um, Instagram. So the lovely power of social media, um, they followed me on Instagram and they reached out to me and they're like, hey, we're looking for a stylist. Can you do this? Like we have two celebrities we need styled. We have a whole cast team that needs to be styled. Um, are you like up for it? And I was actually flying back from Iowa when I got this uh, email. <laughs> so it was really cool, um, very quick and like, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I was reading the email and I have a PA, um, personal assistant that I uh, you know, does read the emails for me. And like, she hurried up and like, was blowing up my phone. Um, and yeah, we just kind of kicked it into high gear. Um, we went to multiple shops, we were pulling um, pieces, like, 
I left and right. I mean, we went to showrooms. We were up at 9 a.m. Um, trying to put all these outfits together. And I have a little studio apartment. And so you can only imagine uh, <laughs> laying all these things out on the floor and yeah. trying just to like put these combinations together. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much like a rough explanation of that gig um so it's simpler terms I have a PA she helps me a lot uh and yeah we just meet up with these different designers these boutiques in the area um yeah so I would just say like connections would be how I really kicked off the styling career part of it all um yeah I don't know if that really answered your question <laughs> oh, it did, yeah um <laughs> Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to ask, like, through your, like, styling process, like, do you have any distinct characteristics, characteristics that you use? That would you say that you learned, like, from Iowa State, like, or through different... Oh, uh, like, okay. I get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not Iowa State, just, like, from your experience. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean, like, character, what do you mean characteristics, like... Like, just do you have, like, you know, unique tactics or anything for when you're looking for specific, like, I, you just kind of go with the flow, like, you know, kind of, you yeah, know. like, branch off of what I was saying or trying to answer with that last question, um, yeah, I have, like, a little, I don't know, once it's, once I get going with the styling process, yeah, so I would just say, um, going with the flow, yeah. um, Definitely staying organized would be like the key thing. Um, I'm trying to think of what did I learn from Iowa State. Uh, I learned a lot of things. <laughs> but, um, geesh, I don't know. Um, I definitely do just go with the flow and like I do stay calm. I think the clients, they feed off of energy um, out here specifically. Um, so if you're like going into, you know, a showroom or whatever the case, an event and you're styling somebody and you're like flustered, they're going to feed off of that. Um, so I definitely keep my cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough question. <laughs> with that, what's been like one of your favorite projects that have you worked, you've worked with or like a person that you've really enjoyed styling? Um, I would say anybody everybody that I've styled yeah. I um I really started with Des Moines local boutiques mm -hmm. and you know designers so I would say like anybody that's reached out to me they've been amazing um yeah, I've studied everybody that I've worked with, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's, like, some advice you'd have for, like, kind of, like, building up that portfolio and, like, branding yourself as a stylist? Oh, yes. Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> be patient and definitely be true to yourself. Um, you know, if you try and copy the last person, it's just not going to work out for you, so uh yeah be patient throughout the whole process that's like the main bottom line for sure yeah I have a question like when you did those little showroom things was that like between Iowa State and like moving to New York was it that time like 2016 um I would say yeah like the networking part really kicked off um is that when you like started to like realize you wanted to do that like yeah I, I would say so take it back to LCF right so I came back um jumped on an internship uh and it was with product styling actually for Nordstrom and um like I said that's when it really kicked off that like styling can be a career and then after that like I said that power of social media is like crazy but that's when I really just started like networking um reaching out I guess another little tidbit advice like don't be afraid to reach out to somebody um I really just started out uh reaching out to my friends like hey I have this brand that sent me five pieces like do you want to be the model I mean I know you're not a model <laughs> but like <laughs> let's do it um so i think that is yeah yeah i would say the networking part and in between iowa state um 
So 2014 is really when that started. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So as a stylist, do you have any favorite trends or maybe like predicted trends you can let us all know in on? My go-to, I mean, and everybody's been doing it, let's be honest, is the 90s. I mean, I love the oversized baggy era. Um, and that's all I see out here, like bomber jackets. Um, guys are starting to sag their pants again. I mean, I don't think that ever really started or stopped. But yeah, it's like <laughs> really coming back again. So even Y2K, that's like the main thing right now. Um, so yeah, I would say the 90s and the, the early 2000s. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, thank you so much for your time and for doing this. Yeah, I hope I answered all your guys' questions. Like, No, oh. you did great. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> yes, thank you guys for asking me. Thanks again, Tyra, for taking your time to inform us on all things styling in New York City. Make sure to keep tuning in every other Wednesday to learn everything beyond TFS.